Hello, Game Cola faithful, and welcome to the brand new, I guess, show, you can call it, on Game Cola. I'm certainly calling it a reality show. I kind of can't believe this is happening, but we're going to play Sims 3. But we're not going to play Sims 3 in any old way. We're going to be playing Sims 3 with the Game Cola staff members. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on Game Cola staff? I'm sure you probably have. Well, I, Diana Gray, the resident fangirl of GameCola.net, am taking it upon myself to show you what it's like at the GameCola HQ. So what I've done, or what I'm going to do, I suppose, is make sims of all of the GameCola staff members that agreed to let me do this. I don't know why they would let me, but whatever. And I've made houses for them to live in, and we're just gonna set them in the house and see what they do. I mean, it's nothing super complicated. Uh, I will be setting them on high free will, just so I don't have to interfere as much. The only thing that I will do to interfere is if there's some kind of emergency going on, like if the house is burning down, because God knows I don't want that to happen. But I'm just- and I will be using the cheat for money, because I don't want any of them to have to go out and get a job. Because God knows we don't have jobs! <laughs> we do everything for Game Cola. So what I've done right now is, you can see on this little cul-de-sac here that I have in my town map, I have created two houses. Because so many people wanted to be in this that I couldn't fit them in one house. So what I figured I'd do first is give you kind of like a house tour of what we got going on here. And then I will uh, make the sims. And I'll be speeding up the process of actually making them, the physical sim I mean, but I will be showing you the selection of their traits, favorite food, favorite color, favorite music, whatever, because I sent out a survey to them and they chose these themselves. I am not just making these up, although some of them you think I will. <laughs> so let's get started with this house, the Game Cola HQ. Uh, this is, uh, I think, very accurate to the Game Cola HQ. It's beautiful and we're just gonna wait for it to pop up. Oh, here we go. Alright, so. Here's our house. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. Um, now, we're gonna start from the top and go down, work our way downwards. So we got a roof, and then let's zoom in here and show you what we got. So this room up here belongs to myself and Anna. Uh, since we're the only two girls in this house, I decided to give us the top floor because basically we kicked uh, Jetty out of the top floor because we just figured as ladies we deserve this top space. Anna's favorite color is Irish green and mine is aquamarine so I kind of fuse them to get this tealish color. We each have our own workspaces with our own laptops and you know it's just a very nice girly room the only one that you're gonna see in the house. There's a bathroom up here and there's the PC workstation with you know just some PCs in case anyone needs to get some general general work done and doesn't want to use their own personal laptop for whatever reason. Going down a floor, we have this room right here, this red stripy room is uh, Joe, Joseph, his room. It's pretty nice, I like it. And over here we have Michael, Michael Gray, who I will add, did not want to be in the house, but I'm forcing him because I am a terrible person. Yay! They share a bathroom up here, and we have this huge open entryway to greet guests of Game Cola, uh, with, you know, a kind of stylish, classy little living room. It's nice, have plenty of bookshelves, this very stylish fireplace, I'm liking it a lot. Uh, then if you go over here, we have the dining room, where we record our podcasts sometimes, and you know, just a regular kitchen. Here's hoping they don't burn it down in the first five minutes. Uh, and then, you know, we just have a nice little porch, and it's kind of cool because the porch is elevated, so the steps kind of go up to the porch. You're probably wondering what those stairs down there are, I'll show you in a minute. So, uh, not those stairs. Uh, this is, I believe, Dan, and I have to check my notes to see who's in this room, Mateo. This is, this side's Dan, Dan Castro, and this is Mateo Xavier's side. They share a room with a double doors leading out on the balcony. I mean, ground? Balcony? Ground? Whatever. There's a nice little fire pit out there if you can see it, so when, you know, we have some downtime, we can go have a little party. And <laughs> this room! is, I think, a completely accurate representation of Paul and Jetty's room. Uh, you got these nice little puppies and kittens on the walls. They love that. They love it. Uh, this bed over here is Jetty's. It's kind of like a Pac-Man status design with some cherries and yellow dots, because 
let's be honest, we associate Jetty with retro gaming. Uh, and then, you know, this one with the, uh, the sea monsters over here, that would be Paul's. Um, yeah, no more needs to be said. Paul has this pretty pink laptop right here, and then Jetty has this sleek looking black desk with his white laptop. Uh, there's a bathroom down here for them, and then there's another one. They get their own bathrooms, which is kind of nice. I almost considered giving me and Anna the bottom floor, but alright. Apparently we have too many people. Now you're probably wondering. Diana, this is the Game Cola HQ. Where are the video games? There is not a single video gaming console in this house unless you count a PC. Well, let me show you. Going down to the foundation, and welcome to the basement. I basically put everything down here that we're ever going to need. So we have this row of six PCs, so we can play with one, you know, old style one in case anybody wants to use that. We have a, a coffee machine and fridge, I forgot what the name for fridge momentarily, and a microwave in case anybody wants to make, you know, like TV dinners or something. We have these Oculus Rift looking things, I forget what they're actually called in Sims, I will look that up. Uh, with plenty of them so that everybody can play. Uh, you know, chessboard, we have a bar, bars are very important, let me tell you. And, um, you know, bookcase, foosball, and then the wall of TVs and gaming consoles. I, it doesn't say what kind of gaming consoles they are, so I've decided to call them X Station U's for all of the consoles. And, you know, uh, that's, that's this house. So this is the main game, Cola HQ. And, in case you didn't catch it, the people living here are going to be myself, Diana Gray, uh, Jetty, Paul, Michael Gray, Anna, Dan, Joe, and Mateo. So that's house number one. They automatically get in house number one because they got back to me first. So let's take a look at the other house, shall we? And this is... <clears throat> it's called Brownstone Beauty, but I'm calling it the Game Cola Brownstone. I forgot to change the name. Will do in a few minutes. Alright, so we're going to start on the bottom floor this time, because it's cute. Actually, I guess we should start with the backyard first. Uh, we have all kinds of fun things in the backyard. We have a pool, because there wasn't enough room for a pool at the Game Call HQ. Our house is just too gosh darn big. And then we have, you know, some sports equipment, because sports... Yeah. And this little sprinkler thing. We have a little playground. I'm not even sure if they can use that, but we're going to find out. Um, and then we have, you know, a nice little grill area back here where we can, you know, have some parties and stuff. That'll be fun. So we have this nice little sitting room over here uh, for entertaining guests again. And, you know, kitchen table, kitchen, pretty standard stuff. Let's go up a floor. And here we have Justin and Ryan's room. Both fairly new staff members, so I decided to room them together because, you know, they're new. They can bond um, in here. And then they have their own little bathroom over here. It's pretty cute. And over here, we have Mark Friedman and Michael Ridgeway, who were both older staff members. So, you know, I thought this looked nice. They have a little fountain in their room. Everybody has their own workspace with their own laptop, uh, just in case. And then we go up a level, and we have... <laughs> This is Nathaniel and Shannon's room, because, you know, they're married, it's super cute. So, Nathaniel has this nice little dinosaur wall, or wallpaper, no, dinosaur comforter, which I love. And, uh, Shannon's favorite color is, again, green, so I gave her a nice green, green bedding, just green accessories, and there's Nathaniel's over there. And this is house number two's gaming room. I decided to theme it a little bit retro, with the, uh... Pac-Man wallpaper, same as Jetty's bedding. They have three PC consoles here and a bar, because again, bar is very important. And uh, a nice little uh, place over here with the console and chairs and a couch and some Oculus Rifts, everything they could ever need. And there's a bathroom right here, just in case. Uh, you're probably wondering who else is in this house. Well, uh, somebody emailed me specifically saying they wanted to be in house two to take down house one. I don't know why anybody would want to take down the game Cola HQ, but here we have Nicholas Suprak's room. I decided to give him kind of like a basement. Oh, I forgot I forgot to give him a real laptop. Whoops! Um, I'll have to do that after I'm done, done here. But he, you know, has the TV and he has his evil monitoring station for house one. Um, and then, you know, his bedroom and stuff. 
It's pretty evil looking if I do say so myself. So everybody watch out for Nicola, man. He's gonna be evil and he's gonna try and burn down the game Cola HQ. We should get on this threat immediately. And there's one more person that uh, people might not know about. And that is the secret lair of Game Cola superfan No Lynch. He took over part of the attic. And uh, we're gonna see if this actually works because, uh, spoiler alert, I don't know if uh, he's gonna be able to walk around in his attic. But I gave him a little bit attic room because he said he wanted to be involved. So I gave him a nice little mirror and a, you know, everything that one needs to survive. He has an old beaten down computer. Sorry about that, no lynch. Um, but, I mean, it's a pretty nice little place. And with that, that's everything housewise that I got for you. So I'll be back in a minute with the uh, s starting creating the skin, the skims. I can't talk today. Welcome to the Sims, guys. Uh, see you later. So we're gonna start with the Sims in House One, and you're probably gonna notice that this is already me. I would show you the creation of me, but unfortunately, I. I already made myself because I thought for some reason that I had to have made a sim in order to make houses. So I did some practice on myself and this is what I came up with. So this is Diana Gray in the sim world. She looks much better than I do in real life, let's just be honest. Uh, I'll just go through her, her stuff and show you, you know, a little close up of me. Uh, we got my face, my clothing, I'll scroll through my clothing just so you can see. Because you'll get to see everybody else's because I'm gonna make it. I just really hope nobody gets offended. <laughs> I'm trying to make it as accurate as possible based on the pictures that they send me. But so here's uh so in case you don't know about Sims 3, every Sim gets five traits. And I sent out a survey to the Game Cola staff members who agreed to do this, asking what kind of traits they would want and also all their favorites that'll be entered on this tab. So, my traits are computer whiz, grumpy, neat, over-emotional, and perfectionist. I think that sums me up pretty well. I'm also going to make all of their lifetime wishes swimming in cash, just so we don't have anybody getting depressed that they can't uh, fulfill their lifetime wishes for some reason, just in case. So, my favorite food, grilled cheese, my favorite music is electronica, and my favorite color is aqua. Just because they don't have a burgundy option, that's my real favorite color, and I'm sure you all know why. Hello, Miles Edgeworth. Uh, and then my astrological sign, I am a Scorpio. So that's me. Pretty straightforward. Look at me turn! <laughs> uh, and now we're going to get started with the other sims. Uh, the next sim we're going to be making is Jetty. So I'll see you in a moment.
All right, now that we have Jetty in front of us, I'm sorry that Jetty's hair does not look exactly right, but the other one was just a little bit too long. So we're gonna move to his traits now. So Jetty, ever the jokester, picked that he wanted to be a technophobe. That is a trait. It's kind of the opposite of computer whiz, I think. But one step inside our house with a technophobe trait would probably result in instant death. So inst I made him pick another one. Actually, eh, no, I picked another one for him. I didn't make him pick another one. So what he decided to be is evil, which scares me a bit. That looked terrifying. Uh, alright, uh, he's also a genius. He is also frugal. He is also, he also has a good sense of humor, which is the one that I added for him. And he also is, if I can find it, a natural cook. Thank God, because we're gonna need one of those. So, I'm gonna look for... Swimming in cash for Jetty. His favorite, whoa, oh, got that right. His favorite food actually is cookies. His favorite music is electronica. And his favorite color is lilac, which is why I made the suit the color that it is. Uh, you may notice that you can't hear the voices right now. It's because my computer is acting up. But trust me, you'll be able to hear everything very soon. And Jetty is an, if I can find it, because I can't read Aquarius. That's Jetty done. We're making good time here. Now on to Paul.
don't know about you, but I think I've done a great thing here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> He's gonna hate me. Oh, oh well. Good thing I don't care. Anyways, this is Paul. So, Paul chose for his traits. Let's see if I can find them. Of course, Paul would choose uh, Insane. So, Insane's going on there. Alright, uh, he's also grumpy, like me. Oh my god, we can be grumpy together. How nice. Um, frugal, like Jetty, they can be frugal together. It'll just be a frugal, grumpy party. Uh, he is ambitious. And he has, finally, a good sense of humor. So his lifetime wish, just like the rest of them, is going to be, if I could find it, where is it? Oh, does he already have it on there? Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Alright, so, Paul's favorites, uh, his favorite food is a hamburger, his favorite music is indie, so that's right, and his favorite color, hot pink, no, very close, his favorite color is spice berry. Do a little bit of work there, and that. Oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups while I'm doing this. Not a great time. And Paul is a cancer, and we're done with Paul. The next sim we're going to be making is Michael Gray.
so here we have Michael as best as I can recreate him I especially like the green shoes he's got going on so for his traits Michael chose a uh, loner make sure not to select loser there instead of loner that would just be oh that was so sad oh uh, he also chose excitable That's Michael pretty well, I think. Uh, he's also perfectionist, like me. Uh, he's also childish. And he can't stand art. No. No. So his lifetime trait, uh, like everybody else, is swimming in cash. His favorites. His favorite food is a hamburger. His favorite music is kids. I'm pretty sure he's messing with me here. And his favorite color, as if you couldn't guess from his shirt, is green. Just doing a little bit of voice work there. And Michael is a Capricorn. And that's it for Michael Gray. The next one we're going to be making is my good friend, Anna.
Alright, so this is Anna. She's looking pretty cute. I don't know why her hair kept changing. That was really irritating. But uh, anyways, we're going to move on to her traits. Uh, Anna chose... If I could find them. She also chose loner. Uh, Anna... Anna is not athletic. Anna is a bookworm. Uh, she is friendly kind of seems to contrast with loner if you ask me but she picked these not me uh she is nope scroll up a little bit more she's cl clumsy i don't know what's up with me picking the wrong things this time and she also has a good sense of humor making sure it's not there all right her lifetime wish swimming in cash her favorite. Her favorite food is a hamburger. Her favorite music is electronica. And her favorite color is Irish green. Which, you know, I like. Alright, that's good for voice. And Anna is... Anna's an Aries. And that's it for Anna. The next one we're going to be making is Daniel Castro.
Alright, so we have Dan sitting in front of us. I think his jacket is cool. I have no idea if he would actually wear something like that, but I like it, so that's all that matters. So, Daniel chose for his traits Computer Wiz. Thank God we have more than one in the house. I'm getting a little bit flagged. Uh, loner. Everyone's loners. None of us are going to talk to each other. I guess that's kind of accurate. Uh, he's brave. He is friendly. Right there. And he, like everybody else except for me in this house, has a good sense of humor. So, wow, he really wants to be in the police force, apparently. <laughs> That's his thing. Um, swimming in cash. Lower. All right, I was like, what is that? That's sad. Uh, his favorite food are, let's use correct grammar here, cookies. His favorite music is classical, so that's right. And his favorite color is blue. And Daniel is a Capricorn. All right, so Dan is ready to get into the house and next we're gonna be making Joe. Well, sorry, Joe. I guess it was inevitable that I was going to lose some footage at some point. But uh, here's what you missed. Here's what Joe's face ended up looking like. Uh, we'll go through his outfits for you right now. Just, uh, I don't know what just happened, but my computer is trying to do too much at the same time, I guess. So it didn't appreciate it. And with that being said, I suppose we'll just get on to Joe's traits. So, for his traits, Joe picked Computer Wiz. Uh, I can't read my own writing, is that sad? Uh, family Oriented, which is interesting, it's the first one we've had so far. I think it'll be interesting because he doesn't exactly have a family. I mean, I know I talk about the game Cola family a lot, but... I mean, does this mean he's going to want to get married? Oh god, that's going to be interesting. He did this to himself, though. I didn't do it. He is a couch potato, a heavy sleeper, and he has a good sense of humor. Like everybody else in this gosh darn house. Uh, now he is... Uh, his favorites. 
His favorite food is grilled cheese. Yes, I love grilled cheese. His favorite music is electronica. And his favorite color, in case you couldn't tell, is red. I try and give everybody clothes that are their favorite color because, you know, I think it's nice. Um, and then Joe is a Pisces. And with that, we're done with Joe, and we're on to the final member of house number one, Mateo. I'm not sure why it's still zoomed in on this. You may have noticed that Mateo's wardrobe is a little bit more eccentric than everyone else's, minus Paul, of course. That's because Mateo is the only one that didn't return the survey to me. So that means I get to pick his traits. This is gonna be fun. I actually haven't thought about it yet. Um, uh, Paul requested that I make anybody who doesn't turn in the thing insane. I wonder if that's just because he's insane. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to make him over emotional. I uh, see. I don't want to make anything uh, unlucky. <laughs> that was depressing. 
Um, he will be, he'll can't, he will not be able to stand art. He and Michael can have a can't standing art party. And he'll be clumsy. That looks pretty good. I don't know about you, but I think this is going to be interesting. Uh, for his favorites, again, I get to pick. So his favorite food is going to be grilled cheese because that's my favorite. His favorite music is going to be indie because we don't have enough of those. And his favorite color, oh, I was already going to make it orange just because I'd already made his bed orange for some reason. And his sign, I have no idea. So that one, Libra. And that's house one done. So I'll see you in just a moment with house two, where we're going to start with Justin. Before I come back with Justin, I should probably show you this. This is our family photo. Aren't we cute? I think we're pretty cute. But our last name is not Gray, because that's only two of our members' last names. So... It seems appropriate. Let me just check... Yeah, I don't, okay. So I can't do anything with that. And that's done. So now we have them in our city map. And in the next episode, they will be moved into the house. I'm going to have to get some money for them in the meantime. But that's it for house number one, Game Cool HQ. Now back to your regularly scheduled Sims making. Back to Justin.
Now we are going to do Justin's traits. I think he looks rather good in red, if I do say so myself. Then again, he picked that as his favorite color, not me. Not taking credit here. <sighs> his traits. He has chosen Computer Wiz. Absent-minded. Uh, schmoozer. Which uh, is right here. Which is just weird in all sorts of ways. Uh, couch potato. And... Just, just guess the last one. Good sense of humor, of course. So he, da, 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 da. So he has. And his favorites. His favorite food actually is a cheesesteak. Go figure. That seems to be a running theme with a lot of people in House 2, which is strange. His favorite music is classical, and his favorite color is red. Wow, I got two out of three. That's a little creepy. Uh, his sign is Aquarius. I don't know the symbols! Okay. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Just a little bit too long making sims. I think it's making me go a little bit nuts. But we're not done yet. No, we still have all of House 2 to make. And we'll be back with Mark Friedman. And here we have Mark. I'm liking the jacket, it's pretty snazzy. So, Mark's traits. <laughs> Starting right off, the very first one he put is inappropriate. Yay, inappropriate. And then he countered that with family oriented, which I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but it's cute. Uh, then he has couch potato. Heavy sleeper, 
and finally, good sense of humor. Get his goal set. And then his favorite, his favorite food is cheesesteak. They can just make cheesesteaks all day long. His favorite music is pop, and his favorite color is orange. And finally, his sign. He is a Scorpio. Yes, yeah, Scorpio party. I'm a Scorpio too, in case you already forgot. So, Mark is down. Next, we are going to be making Nicola, the self-proclaimed destroyer of House One. And here we are with Nicola. I actually really like this shirt that I designed for him. It doesn't look evil at all. It actually looks really nice. Meh, I'm sure he'll hate it. Anyways, let's get Nicola's traits down. And he is setting himself up to be a nuisance. His first trait is evil. Second is schmoozer. Just a disgusting word to say. Uh, charismatic is another one. Great, he's gonna be good at destroying our house. The next one is party animal, and I'm sure everyone in the house is gonna love that. Oh, good god. Uh, and the last one is good sense of humor. Spending in cash. His favorites. His favorite food is hamburger, his favorite music is pop, and his favorite color is blue. That, and then his sign, 
He didn't tell me his sign. When I put sign on the survey, he put something dumb like destroying the blood of my enemies or something. So we're going to have to go random for a nickel again. Oh, there's a random button. I didn't know that. This is a random button. So apparently, Nicola is an Aries. I guess that kind of fits in a weird way. Anyways, so that's it for Nicola, the self-proclaimed destroyer of House 1. Can't wait to see how that works out. Uh, I'll see you back here in just a second with Ryan. Here we have Ryan. I really like those shoes. I wish I owned them. But let's get on to his traits. I can find my notes. There they are. Ryan is unique because he actually chose insane of his own accord. That's a little bit strange, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, he's also a hopeless romantic, which was a cloth, a cloth, gosh, a close sixth for my traits. I am a very strong, I guess is the correct adjective, hopeless romantic. Uh, he is absent-minded. He is a perfectionist. I can... It's really difficult to scroll through this list. And he has a good sense of humor. And his favorites, his favorite food, 
is sushi. His favorite music is indie. Oh, that's right. Whoops. Uh, and that took a minute to go away. And his favorite color is. Uh oh. Oh, nope, there it is. Sea foam, which looks like gray, but I chose to make it this color. Yeah, that definitely looks like gray. Uh, and then Ryan is a cancer. So that's Ryan done. He's looking pretty snazzy. And next in house two, we are going to be making, you know him, you love him, Nathaniel Hoover. Alright, so we have Nathaniel in front of us, and let's just jump right in. His traits. He's the only one, ironically enough, that chose never nude for a trait. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, Nathaniel is a loner. He is a perfectionist. We seem to have a lot- no. Nope. We seem to have a lot of perfectionists in the house, as it is. He is very charismatic, which I can believe. And he is very neat, which I am looking for because I don't know the alphabet. There we go. Swimming in cash. And his favorites are his favorite food is she's to join the club. His favorite music is electronica. And his favorite color is aqua.
And his sign is Pisces. And next, we are going to come back with... I think we'll do Michael Ridgway next. Alright, so Mike is done, and let's do his traits. Uh, here's a new one. He, uh, Michael Ridgway selected Neurotic. Oops, I messed that up. Please excuse me, I am still learning controls, even though I've done this like 15 times now. <laughs> I will never learn. Um, Michael Ridgway is a perfectionist. He is, you know, let's just keep things general and say that he's good. Uh, he is hot-headed. That's gonna start a lot of fights in house, too. And he is also friendly. So, you know, interesting. That'll be an interesting dynamic, especially with Nathaniel being evil. <laughs> So, his favorites. His favorite food is sushi. That's cool. His favorite music is electronica. That's cool. And his favorite color is black. Stick that. No, I don't like that, actually. Let's go with that one. Uh, and then his sign. He is a Pisces. We have, I feel like we have a lot of Pisces in the house. Houses, plural. Alright, we are getting close to the end, you guys. We only have two more to make. 
So let's come back with Shannon. I gotta admit, I think this one was the most fun. I'm really happy with how Shannon came out. I really hope she likes it. I'm loving the socks. She basically told me to dress her up like an oversized kindergartner, and I was like, all right, if that's what you want, I am more than happy to oblige. So, jumping right into her traits, 
I guess uh, Michael Richard was not the only one that decided that he was neurotic. Uh, Shannon is also neurotic. They could be neurotic together. Uh, she is artistic. Yep. Uh, she is a bookworm. She is vegetarian. Which will add some interesting dynamics into the house. Because a lot of these guys in here like meat. And she is over-emotional. Like me. Cash. There we go. All right. Her favorite food is pancakes. Her favorite music is indie. And her favorite color is Irish green. All right. And she is a cancer as well. All right, we're in the home stretch. We only have one more sim to make, and that is Game Cola Super Fan Knowledge. Alright, so here we have Game Cola Superfan No Lynch looking pretty snazzy in a red jacket. And let's just do his traits. So, No Lynch is a at least self proclaimed. Uh, did I miss it? Nope. I can't spell. Genius. <laughs> he is also artistic. Uh. A. Loner. There it is. He is a self-proclaimed virtuoso as well. And he is unflirty. So good luck trying to get no lynch, ladies. 
Uh, let's see, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go to favorites. Nolan's favorite food is hot dogs, he likes indie, and his favorite color is red. Alright, and his sign is Virgo. And with that, I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but we're, we're done. We're done with house number two. Does it just arbitrarily pick a last name, or is it the last name of most of the people? It might be the case. I'm not really sure how it picks that. Do do do. It's gonna take a long time. Sims doesn't like it when you make too big of a family, apparently. There they are! Oh, aren't they cute? I think so. They are super cute. I'm just gonna name this one game Cola too, just cause. Ah, adorable. Uh, no, I don't wanna add any relationships. I want them to just be roommates, which I think is the default. So we're good. You guys, I just sat here and made 16 sims for you. So all I know is you better appreciate it and tune in sometime soon when I put these sims in their houses and we see what sort of crazy hijinks they get up to. Because trust me, I'm sure there will be craziness. Between people potentially starting relationships, and no, this is not just an excuse for me to ship people together again, as Paul says. Between people starting relationships, houses potentially burning down, and people just sitting by themselves because everyone's loners. Something is bound to go down on every single episode, and I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see what it is. So, I will see you all next time, with potentially a co-host with me, so you don't have to just listen to me talk the whole time. I'm sure you've had enough of me, let's be honest. So, I'll see you next time, and make sure to stay tuned to Game Cola staff members and The Sims. If you think of a catchier name for that, put it in the comments. I'll credit you or something. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye!